Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I do apologize if you can hear my family in the background. Uh, this is the best way and the fastest way for me to make videos, so you might hear some Korean and or babies. Yeah. This is making 3D for 2D games. Uh, this is the vlog to finish, episode number seven. Uh, I'm going to first thank new subs, and then we're going to get right into the eco game jam i don't know if i'm gonna do the timestamps. i never make time for it but welcome uh or thank you fire foxmole i hope i said that right jeff kennedy and oof whoa whoa it's it's let's see i'm gonna try this duran grit i hope it's duran grit i tried to look up your name in google translate that's what it came up with that's what it said and javanese i need to know what it, what what is javanese man Tell me where that is or so i've never heard of javanese that's really cool uh and just saying hi twists Always welcome, always a pleasure, and anyone can also say, say hi anytime they want to. Jeremy360, I have no clue what you're asking about the smooth mesh. It's the first thing I do when I made a new mesh in Blender. I'm not sure the question. Uh, that's again because I'm new to Blender. Uh, we'll flesh that out later on, but again, I'm short on time. I want to keep these videos between three to seven minutes. Right now in the Eco Game Jam, this is our, the, all the characters I sketched, and I sketched them very small on a piece of paper so we could kind of keep them to scale and I know what they look like. Uh, unfortunately, when I sent this off, or when I sent a tile uh, sample to Securus, I hope I said that right. I was, I've never seen anything as. I, Calm Ruben, but Securus, uh, he said that we needed to, uh, that he doesn't know if the characters would actually match the tile set. So I started working on one of the main characters. Now, given that this is probably the character that you'll see the most, this enemy character type, this is the character type I worked on. And let me show you. I'm very, I'm very proud of myself. There you go. That's the money shot right there. I can go quickly to 3D view and show you. Isn't that cool? All right. And that's what I'm going to be talking about right now. Is I'm going to be talking about how I go between. Inkscape and Blender, Blender, Inkscape, so forth and so on, all right? So really quickly, the money shot. Why do I call this money shot? This is a big takeaway to note is that I've gone into Cycles Render and I've used Cycles Render because I want to get this outline right here along with anything I use in Inkscape. That way I don't have to outline it. Did it, did it do it? Did it just... Is it, what are you, is it rendering an entire movie here? Here is it selecting the edges and stuff. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Oh, there's a better way to do this. Hold on. Wait a minute. Ah, I see. Let me get rid of crease. This is why I call this the money shot. No crease. I did get this from another video. I will always put the videos. Probably, I'll probably put all the videos that I got my references at the end of this video. So you can just click on them, give them a little SEO juice, so forth and so on. Now let me hit render and you'll see what I was trying to do before. And I'm waiting, still waiting. Beautiful, right? Okay, cool. How did I do that? This is my settings right here. I have Silhouette and Ridge Valley. After about an hour of messing around with this, this is what the two settings I have. And again, when you do this type of a technique in with Cycles Render, this is apparently is the best way in Blender 2.8. Uh, yes, if you hit the freestyle without setting up the render, like the layer, whatever it's called, I don't know what it's called, the render layer, then it's not going to show anything. And that was the, that's what took me about, like, you know, a week to figure out on and off between other life changes. All right, so anyway, getting back to this, how much time do I have? All right, good. I'm gonna show you how to move this into uh, Inkscape. You're gonna just basically export the UV, kind of a review. And that's the other thing, I was like, I'm like forgetting a lot of the shortcut keys and stuff. And again, it's gonna be a bummer when I move to the new Blender because the new Blender will have basically, um, you know, new shortcut keys. But hey, I hope they're improvements. Looks pretty good so far, so I am going to switch when it we get a stable build. All right, I just did that. Now I'm going to go in here, and what I'm going to do here in import is I'm going to actually import the ping itself. Actually, I think I'm going to just open it. I'm going to open. That's the key here. Open. Don't don't import because this messes with you, messes with you horribly, like in bad ways. All right, let's go to robot. Try to keep those files organized as best as I can. Sounds like drive me as crazy as it could. Robot enemy one. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. Made the mistake. I need to select everything. Hold on. There we go. Now I'm going to export. Learn from my mistakes is what I'm telling myself in the future. Export layer. We're going to save it. Save robot three. Export UV layer. All right. Do I still have time? This thing might go off. Oh, good. Okay. All right. And then open the entire thing and just say, okay. And when you do that, instead of having to do what I was doing before, which took more time, trying to resize everything to fit. This actually just fits it in one awesome square. 
bada bing bada boom now if you the only thing about this though is and I like to have a reference layer I need to make reference I need to make reference there's my ref layer and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this I said Urgh. hold on hold on oh, hey hey you oh I gotta redo it again see this is why you need a reference layer because there you go all right okay control X then ref add bada bing bada boom and I am going to do a thingamajig. What's the thingamajig I'm going to do? I'm going to paste in place. Bada bing. There you go. See, now it's there. I can lock it in. No harm, no foul. I'm going to put a new one there. And the only thing about this is it won't, like, by restarting this, that means I lose all my progress. That's the only problem with this. So you know what I'm going to do instead? That's just if you're going to do this from scratch. I'm actually going to op open another one. Is it robot too? I, was ro I don't know. Uh, cancel. Let's open another ink. Ah, cancel. Close. Who cares, dudes? Okay, we'll save this one. That's if you're doing it from scratch. I'm not doing it from scratch, so instead, I'm gonna open recent robot SGV. Hope this is it. And what we do is I'm just this layer. Close this. File edit. Import. There you go. Bam and bammy bam. Okay, all right. Oh wow. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem because it's not, oh, let me see. Okay. All right. So let's do this instead. Why baby? Oh, here, come on. Oh, this is going to mess with time. Can I do this one handed, one armed? I don't know. You, you're going to breathe in there. Don't talk too much. All right. Okay. Let's see. Um, now what I was doing this for is I just want to add some red to the belt, man. That's all I want to do. So there we go. Add in some red. <sighs> Dead Redemption. Fantastic game. Should Every should play, should play that. It's a great game. All right. And we're adding red. Okay. Again, I'm doing this with, with a baby in an arm. This is this is why I should record like me. Is so you can see the amazingness. Don't touch that. Are you going to touch that? Are you going to touch it? Don't touch it. You want to touch it. Don't touch that. Okay. Totally, totally messes up commentary though. This is why I'm not Twitch streamer. Yeah. I'm talking Mama. the red thing. Mom, mom. Well, hey, don't beat it up too much. I almost got this. I almost got this. Oh, man, there's going to be some editing. Oh, I doubled these lines. Hopefully this works. It doesn't bite me in the butt. That's 10 minutes. According to that. Okay, let's see if I can get this in five. All right, and there you go. I don't want the stroke. We'll take the stroke out. Okay, and... All right, so I might have to do that as two separate ones. I hate doing backtracks because that's what takes a lot of time, but I am getting faster. All right, okay, so this is what we do, is that we go to fill. We go to fill, 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 fill. We go to layers, sorry. We move this over here. I should put it right there where we want it. Fantastic. All right, we're going to save this. Then we're going to export as drawing. Export ping image. We're going to export it as, yeah, sure. We'll export it as the same thing. We'll write right over it. That's not too uncorrectable if it's really messed up. And export. Yeah. Yes. Replace. Okay. All right. I think there's an image refresh. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Reload image. All right. There we go. And that should then change this. Yeah. Dun, 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 3D view. Oh, I love this. Okay. Let's see. And we have it there. Again, if I want this to be more perfect, I'm going to have to just change it. But I think for the video, this this works. Okay. And I just have to like touch up more of these areas. I'll probably separate these into two UV maps. And actually, you know what? I'll just the UV map right now. And hopefully with editing, this is still 17 minutes. The easiest and fastest way to do this for me that I've learned is simply this. I select all these thingies right here, right here, right here. And then I do this. Uh, I do this, this dance that you can't see. I try to line it up. This is ortho view. And once I line it up, there you go. I'm going to hit the magic mesh UV unwrap. I'm going to go to project from view. And there we go. I'm just going to shrink that. I'm going to press G to group it. Control G, control G. I'm going to press S to resize it, shrink it down. There, no, no, no. Right about there. That's good enough. I can move. Hold on. G. Yeah, let's make sure it's like about the same size. That's good enough. And by doing that, that should also undo the other one so they're not yeah see they're longer so again what i'll do is i'll redo this map and that'll be it i'll do it off video 
and I'll show the results uh, the next video and I'll also talk about level design. Again, I am title pending Zon the Daddy Dev. Thank you for tuning in. I love you all. You're all amazing people. If you have any questions, comments below, please put them down below. And I'm also also talk to people. Oh, in fact, I think I need to talk to someone right now about game design on Discord. Alrighty. See you later. Bye. Did I have this happen? I need to stop and do it. Stop!